Drones or unmanned aerial vehicles are aircraft that are lifted and propelled by one or more horizontal rotors. Drones were originally only available to the military, but over the past several years, consumer grade drones have become a multi-billion dollar mainstream global market. Consumer drones are prim primarily used for videography, but have other niche applications such as competitive racing, a fast pace paced sport requiring speed and quick hand-eye coordination. Drones have become very popular recently, but most of us have no idea how they operate or the components that enable them to work. In this video, we are going to learn about the basic systems and components of drones. Drones are made up of a lot of different systems that are all necessary to make them fly. In today's example, we will be looking at my race drone. Just as important as the drone itself is the control system. Pilots operate the drone by manipulating the sticks on the transmitter. Each degree of freedom corresponds to a different control axis on the drone. The pilot has control of throttle, pitch, roll, and yaw, and oftentimes has other methods of control, such as sliders and dials. Drone operators often have access to a live video downlink to view what the drone sees. This additional feature can provide heaps of information to the pilot. It allows the pilot to know more about the exact position of the drone and makes it easier to control. It also serves as a method to transmit information from the drone to the user. The frame is one of the most basic components of the drone but is important nonetheless. It is what everything is built around. Different frames are selected based on the intended application of the drone. High performance frames are generally made out of carbon fiber to maintain strength and minimize weight, while cheaper drones are made of plastic because cost is not as important as absolute performance. Race drones tend to be much smaller than aerial photography drones as they are needed to go faster and carry much less weight. The power system is what propels the drone. It is the drone's only method of propulsion and control. Changes in the power system will make the largest differences in its flight performance. Changes to this system are made specifically to tailor the flight performance of the drone. These changes can be made to optimize different aspects of the drone, such as top speed, acceleration, payload, or flight time. The power system is made up of three main components, the battery, the electronic speed controllers, and the motors. The battery provides power to the electronic speed controllers. The electronic speed controllers, or ESCs, take the power to spin the motor and make the drone fly. Unfortunately, the battery is the biggest bottleneck to drone performance, as it is either too heavy or can't keep up with the demand for the high performance motors. Next, let's talk about the flight controller. The flight controller is the brain behind the entire operation. Simply put, the flight controller takes information such as commands from the transmitter, altitude sensors, and angular acceleration to compute the appropriate outputs to the ESCs. The flight controller is entirely based upon software. This software can be adjusted to accommodate different flight operations and objectives and can be modified to meet the preferences of each pilot. The last system of my race drone is the FPV system, or the live video downlink. There are several components that make up the FPV system, such as the camera, the on-screen display, and the video transmitter. All of these things work together to create a video feed with predetermined information for the pilot. It is very important that the delay is as close to zero as possible while racing at high speeds. The latency of this system is less than 50 milliseconds, which is considered good enough for high speed racing and is almost not noticeable at all. Thank you for watching our brief informational video. Obviously, we couldn't explain everything about how drones work, but hopefully, you know more than you did five minutes ago. If you're interested in learning more, please feel free to look into the following reference sources.